Hello everyone and welcome to this new video of Western Sahara Uncovered. Today we will talk about the Sahrawi refugee camps. The Sahrawi refugee camps are located in the southwest of Algeria. They were established in the mid-1970s due to the Moroccan and Mauritanian military invasions of Western Sahara. Sahrawi people were forced to move from their territory to refugee camps in Algeria waiting for the war to end. These refugee camps are located in the remote, arid region of Tindouf, Algeria. This area is characterized by its very rocky terrain, its extremely dry climate, and very high temperatures in summer and low temperatures in winter. When it comes to the layout of the camps, we can find five camps in which people actually live. Awsirid, Al-Dakhla, Al-Ayun, Smara, and Bujdur. But then there is a sixth camp, Al-Shahid Al-Hafal, which is where the Polisario Front and the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic are established as of now, since in Western Sahara a war is taking place. When it comes to the infrastructure, most of the refugees live in khaimas or in houses made out of mud, which is the only available material that the refugees could have access to. This is a very vulnerable material, especially when there are heavy rains or strong sandstorms. This brings many challenges to the life of the refugees, as they obviously do not have a stable and secure home. When it comes to schools, or hospitals and sanitation facilities, in each camp we can find a central hospital and small dispensaries over the camp. When it comes to education, in each camp we can find primary schools and in some we can find secondary schools as well. In the rest, people once they finish their studies in primary school, they have to go abroad to finish their studies. These camps are self-organized and self-governed. Men and women have played an equal role when it comes to the governance and organization of these refugee camps. This organization and governance is done through the Polisario Front and the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic. When it comes to the economy in the refugee camps, job opportunities are very scarce and the situation is very challenging, especially for young people. Most young people go abroad to finish their studies and once they are done, they come back to the refugee camps because they want to contribute to their own community. However, it is very difficult because job opportunities are very scarce. The Sahara people in the refugee camps depend on international aid, especially from the United Nations. This has been suffering a lot of cuts lately and that has been causing a lot of issues and challenges for the people who live in these refugee camps. Even though these camps are self-organized, self-governed and secured by the Sahrawi people, they do not want to stay there forever. The Sahrawi people are there only temporarily waiting for a solution to go back to where they belong, to Western Sahara. These refugee camps have a very important political significance. They represent the resilience and the strength of the Sahrawi people and they show how they were able to build their state in a very challenging context such as this one. What this shows is that once the Sahrawi people get their independence, they will be more than able to build their own state an independent Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic on their own land, Western Sahara.